Hi, welcome back to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. Today we're going to use some of the vegetables that we picked from the garden to make some salsa. Some of the ingredients that we're going to use for our salsa today, we're going to use some canned corn, some black beans, tomatoes from the garden, some sweet peppers from the garden, one hot pepper, because I like it spicy, a lemon, and a couple of Roma tomatoes. We're going to chop this all up and put it all together, and then we're going to fry up some tortillas to have some chips. We're going to cut off some parts of these tomatoes, and we'll put them in our compost So I'm going to cut off some of the part that I don't think we would like very much. And then I'm going to slice them down like this. But remember to keep your fingers out of the way when you're cutting tomatoes. And remember to always use a sharp knife. And I'm going to dice these tomatoes. Oops. into little cubes. So you dice them into little cubes. Look at that. This tomato right here. Put that in there. And I'm going to cross it. And I'm going to dice it into little cubes because I like to have nice big chunks of tomato in my salsa. Some people don't like tomatoes. You can use something else. You could use watermelon. You can use mango. You can use any, just about anything else to make your salsa. We've got a lot of tomato. We're going to use this bowl right here. I'm going to cut the sweet pepper and cut it in half like this. Get all the seeds out. You see that? Ah. <laughs> it's splashing all over the kitchen. That's why Jack and Corbin like to come in the kitchen when I'm cooking so they can get whatever falls on the floor. And you can use anything in your salsa that you want. You can use watermelon, you can use pineapple, you can use all sorts of things to make your water, your salsa, watermelon, your salsa taste good. I'm going to use some sweet peppers because those were what was growing in the garden. So, I don't usually put sweet peppers in my salsa, but I thought I'd try it this time, since they were in the garden. And I don't have any exact measure measurements. I generally just put things in there until it tastes good, and then once it's tasting good, I stop. And sometimes I can tell by the way it smells, sometimes I can tell by the way it looks. sweet peppers. I can hear Jack moving around. He's going to want to come in here because he knows I'm cooking something.
I'm going to put all of this together and, and it doesn't take much to add all these delicious flavors. And now I have some cilantro. And some people like cilantro, some people don't. It's up to you, like I said. You put in what in your salsa or your salad salsa. I kind of call it a salad salsa because I also just eat it as like a salad sometimes. So I'm going to cut my cilantro up. Kind of chop it up a little bit. Oops! There's Jack. Now we get the cilantro chopped up. Throw that in. Delicious flavor. Put some onion in there. And I grew these onions in the garden. That's why they're so small. But they're pretty delicious. And I'm going to chop it up too. I have to put one whole onion in there. I think that ought to be plenty. Now, if you don't want to cut, if you're not used to cutting things with a knife, you can have your an older brother or sister cut it, cut your ingredients for you, or you can have mom and dad cut it for you, and then you can just stick it, and then you can be the one that puts it in the bowl. So you don't always have to be using a knife cutting. You can also be the one that's scooping and putting it in all the ingredients together. So you can have one person cutting things up, and the other person is scooping it up and putting it in there. And even if you have a younger brother or sister, they can help you. So we have all that in there. We're going to add about a cup of corn and a cup of beans. And Jack is really excited. He's right here at my feet. Add that. some beans. You can put avocado in there. I'm going to mix it all up. Look at that. It was very simple, wasn't it? Now this is the mild version. I'm going to put some hot pepper in it as well, just to spice it up. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Nice and fresh. All mixed up in there like that. And then we're going to get this lemon, cut it in half, and squeeze it. Squeeze that lemon juice in there. Oh, yum. Use both halves. There we go. Look at that. Oh, so yummy. We'll put a little bit of salt and it'll be ready to go. Taste. Mmm. Perfect. So I have the jalapenos chopped up really nice and small, and I'm going to go ahead and mix them up, and then we're going to go ahead and start making the tortilla chips.
clean up a little bit. Okay, so I have my griddle here that I'm going to use to fry my tortillas. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on right now. There we go. It is on. I'm going to put it on about medium. There we go. About medium heat. And then I'm going to add some oil. I like to use olive oil. And I don't use too much. I don't want it to get too oily. And I just have tortillas, corn tortillas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them with my knife. I'm going to cut them into quarters. So cut it in half. And then cut it in half again. And you don't have to use a knife. You could probably use a pizza cutter. So I have my oil heating up and I think it's hot enough. And I'm moving it around so that it's spread out evenly on my griddle. And I'm just going to put, and I have a spatula. And I'm just going to put my little pieces of tortilla here. them fry up. You can hear them frying. How about that? And then when they get just a little bit golden brown, we're going to go ahead and flip them over and then let them cook on the other side and then they'll be ready. And you can see they bubble up a little bit because they get air pockets inside so they make little bubbles and they do all kinds of funny things but we're just going to let them cook for a little minute here okay i think they're ready to get flipped over they are they have little golden spots on that side for a little bit and then we'll be time to eat. This looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm. It's really good. The fresh tomatoes and the fresh vegetables and the fresh tortilla chips delicious. Now, I want to thank you guys for visiting Lucidette's little farm in the big city, and I'll see you next time. Bye!